So let's do this video um, and find out <clears throat> if they're thinking of you right now as we speak, if they're hoping to reconnect with you, or let's find out um, just exactly what the other person is thinking right now. So let's start out with Aries. Aries, for you and your partner, let's find out what they're thinking. So for Aries, the first card that comes up is the Strength card. So Aries, either you or your partner is definitely trying to come up with something that is going to allow you to move forward, to allow you to uh, encounter uh, a beautiful uh, situation. It also feels like for your partner, Aries, they are still too trying to find the strength and the courage to approach you. So that looks good for Aries. Next, I have up. Leo, Leo, I have the Ten of Wands for you, Leo. So, Leo, where your partner or you are concerned, Leo, it feels like you are definitely holding on to something, possibly from the past, wanting something to come to fruition. Where your partner is concerned, it does feel like they may have or you may have had your back up against a wall. It may feel like you can't move or you are definitely stuck on this person or they are stuck on you, meaning that they are not interested in another partner or another relationship. Uh, they are truly still holding on to the thoughts and the memories about you. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you have the hangman. So with the hangman in reverse, for you, Sagittarius, it feels like you're wanting to be around. You're wanting to uh, stay local. You're wanting to stay visible. For your partner, Sagittarius, it feels like you're not sure if the other person is near or far sometimes. But at the same time, for some of you, Sagittarians, it feels like you may have somebody sneaking around or looking around or spying on you or watching you from a distance. That's what's coming up. Uh, let me see. Give me next we'll do Capricorn. Capricorn, I have the Four of Pentacles. So for Capricorns out there, what we have going on currently for today's energy is definitely you holding on to what you have offered in the past. In other words, you're just holding on tight right now to your emotions and your feelings. Um, you're trying to keep control of things. For your partner, Capricorn, it is more that they are trying to show you, this is what I have and this is what I'd like to offer you. And they're trying to entice you. They also may be trying to attract you. They're trying to act um, very interested, flirty with you. That's what's coming up for today. Uh, after Capricorn, let me get Virgo. Virgo, I have the Queen of Swords for Virgo. So Virgo, of course, because Virgos are so beautiful, right? Both handsome and gorgeous. Love Virgo's energy. Virgos, you guys, uh, you know, planet of Venus here, a whole bunch of love around you. But with the Queen of Swords, Virgos, you're finally sitting where you belong on your throne, showing your beauty. Um, you are also maybe trying to look kind of cute. You're trying to find the right clothes or the right jeans or the right look. Some of you are focused on your daddy air area, uh, making sure that it looks good before you go out. I don't know what that's about, but I see you looking in the mirror, looking in the mirror. For your partner, Queen of Swords, it feels like your partner is definitely um, making sure that hair got cut, making sure they have a clean shape, making sure, um, for some of you, uh, making sure that um, the waxing was done or whatever. So what I get with Queen of Swords for your partner is that they are going to be watching you as if you are in a parade. Like they're going to be starstruck by your appearance. Taurus. Taurus, you have the Three of Wands. Taurus, you have the Three of Wands. So Taurus, either you are trying to make a decision about something or trying to decide whether you want to go back down the same path again or whether you want to revisit a new one. For your partner, this card would mean, Taurus, that uh, somebody is looking from a distance. They're looking over the decisions from the past that they've made. They're also looking over their mistakes as well and beginning to own them. Gemini, Gemini, I have the Knight of Swords, Gemini. So Gemini, for you guys, you are definitely moving in quick or you're going to handle something fast or you're going to make a quick decision. Uh, for your partner, I feel like they are going to come full speed ahead towards you. Communication is on the way. Yep, that's what I got. Libra, 
Libra, I have the King of Swords. So Libra, you may have somebody who is adamant about being a certain way, adamant about being in control of something, adamant about taking charge of something. So this definitely could be exactly what is sparking their energy. Um, for Libras in general, I also feel like you may be feeling like you need to fix everything or you need to reorganize something or you need to readdress something. So that's coming up for today. Aquarius. Aquarius, you may be refusing a cup right now or your partner may be refusing a cup. But I do feel like somebody's waiting for an apology, which is why they're not accepting this cup. So that is either you, Aquarius, uh, you may be deciding that, you know what, until I hear an apology, until they admit what they did, I'm not, I'm not talking to them. I'm, I'm not accepting their apology. For some of you, is your partner is feeling like, this is definitely what I want to give you. This is, I'm going to keep trying over and over. So I do feel like, Aquarius, your partner wants to get through to you. Uh, cancer. Cancer. I do have the Nine of Cups for Cancer. So Cancer, you definitely have other options that you're not even looking at or not even considering because you are being quite stubborn with your hands folded, quite stubborn, uh, and being adamant that you want this one particular person and you're just going to wait until they fix it for some of you. For some of you Cancerians, you may decide that, you know what, I don't want any of this. I'm just going to try to rock these holidays by myself. Where your partner is concerned, Cancer, I do feel like they are definitely putting other people on the back burner, so to speak, on the back burner. And they are going to definitely make you, make you the choice, not the option. Pisces, Pisces, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So Pisces, you too, same following suit here with the water signs. Pisces, definitely options to consider for both you or your partner. But I do feel like where you're concerned, Pisces, uh, you're worried about your partner having too many options. If this was your partner that I'm reading here for, it's in reference to your partner saying that I have all these different choices, but only one, Pisces is saying only one, Pisces partner, I'm sorry, is saying only one sticks out. Only one means something to me. And it feels like that energy is towards you, Pisces. So your partner is definitely feeling that you stand out above the crowd. Scorpio, Scorpio, you definitely have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio. With the Knight of Cups, this is definitely showing somebody wanting to address you, wanting to give you something, wanting to uh, make sure that you definitely receive the offer. It also feels like there is going to be a new beginning for you because somebody's coming towards you with a cup to offer. Somebody definitely wants to show you uh, how you feel and how they feel about you. They want to bring your feelings out to attention. All right. Now, I believe that's all the signs. I think I've covered everybody. So I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video. <clears throat> what I also want to do <clears throat> is I want to pull one card for each element just to get a roundup. So air signs, air signs. For today's outcome, it does feel like it is the sun card. Things are going to be happy. Things are going to come out in a positive way for you. You're also going to have that childlike feeling in a certain situation today. Somebody's going to make you feel so happy. So get ready for that. Okay, fire signs, fire signs. You are definitely recovering from a broken heart, fire signs, and you are moving forward. You are definitely trying to pull each and every one of these swords out of your heart that stabbed you individually. Maybe you had three different incidences or occurrences that somebody broke your heart, fire signs. But I do feel like you're going to remove these swords, and then you'll be able to fully heal and move forward with a new love relationship. Water signs, you have the two of cups. So water signs, it is true that somebody is going to be offering a cup and you are going to offer yours back. So for some of you water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you are going to take back a partner that has made promises to you in the past. Somebody who may not have fulfilled those promises, but you're going to accept them back. You're definitely going to accept them back. Um, fire signs. I did, I'm sorry, I did air. I did fire. I did water, so I'm earth signs, earth signs, sorry about that guys. So earth signs, you have the reverse death card today. So what that means is something that has already ended, something that's already finished, something that has already been put kind of on the back burner to you, meaning something put behind you, is definitely going to, um, I hate to say it, but you know, when, when a fireman puts a fire out, 
in a building, sometimes it smolters again and it reignites. So I'm feeling like whatever situation you thought was lost and over and done, it is going to reunite. So I do feel like you're going to have the option or opportunity to be able to uh, meet up with this person, to discuss a few things, and hopefully to put your relationship back on track. Now there is going to be another video that will come up as well. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Very, very important. Please, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, I am going to be doing another video today. So let's find out if there's any secrets with your partner, okay? So stay tuned and come back and join me and let's find out just what exactly don't they want you to know. Hmm. I think we'll take a closer look into that. See you guys in just a few minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought this shut off already. Uh, you guys, stay tuned. A little technical difficulty here. but And I also will be coming on today to do a live, <clears throat> to do uh, the Q&As that you wanted yesterday for the $25 one question. So it's going to be a special for $20 for one question. Instead of $25, it will be $20. Put your question in your payment in the PayPal. you got to write your question out in the payment in order to get your answer. Okay? No question in the payment. No answer, and you have to resubmit another twenty dollars. That would make it forty dollars for one re one question. So make sure you follow carefully. Take your time when you're posting your payment. Twenty dollars. Put your question in the payment. <laughs> 